Hello and uh, welcome to channel UTM. This is a tutorial based research channel and um, basically the aim is uh, to show you my uh, research results, uh, the research in action and um, show you how to do this yourself. Um, it's very simple, uh, if you have any doubts um, you can try it yourself. Um, and I guarantee you, you will get the results. Um, it's crazy. Um, if you do follow this sort of stuff, um, I do recommend trying it yourself. Um, it's just a different way of um, thinking um, immediately when you actually know for yourself. So anyway, this is um, an update on Pluto I did a couple of, I think it was three videos ago and um, there was something I was looking at trying to explain because another thing that we do here, I'll try and work out um, the makeup of the images how they're pre-edited, um, which helps me um, uh, do my editing uh, to bring out the um, anomalies easier, and also help you understand the images you're you're looking at. So let's have a little recap. This is obviously um, Pluto, and just to show you um, where we're going to be looking at. It's more or less this area here, um, which is it's about 300 miles <coughs> wide, the image. This is the image uh, in question. It's very low quality. Um, but uh, surprisingly revealing, um, as I found out. So, let's, there's a bit of information here, it's um, quite interesting, yeah, 300 miles wide, um, and broken terrain, you know, chaos region, they have um, chaos regions, <coughs> it's a name they give to areas of um, planets where the the terrain is fractured, broken up sort of thing. I've got a brilliant one from Mars, which um, I've done a lot of work on. It's quite an old file now, so I might I might just throw that out there. Um, oh yeah, apologies for the for the length of the videos as well. Um, time just flies when you're doing this, and I'm trying to show. Um, that this sort of um, phenomena is not just a one-off on one photograph here, here and there, and it's obviously not. Um, if you want to see examples of that, just look at the, the other videos, um, and uh, it, it speaks for itself. So, I always show these, New Horizons. Um, orbiter mission thing, I don't, yep, something like that. So, okay, th this is the original image. Um, for those of you who are following this channel, um, you might recognize it. <coughs> Excuse me. So, this is the one I actually looked at, and um, what um, I was looking at was um, this. Um, what I was uh, um, presuming um, because of the these odd patterns and stuff and you can see there are blurred out areas um, was that they were using a, a, a laying a filter over the top of the image um, in relation to um, 
what was originally on the surface to just try and break up that sort of thing. There's some examples here of it and here. Um, but I'm not going to ponder on this image uh, too much. Um, I've done as much work as I can on um, the latest image. So I think you'll get a fair idea of um, what's going on. And I think what I didn't do, I obviously didn't look at this area at all. I just concentrated on these areas. I mean, the main area we looked at was uh, was down here. Um, so I didn't even look at it. I was just wondering what these, um, odd patterns were and stuff. Um, it's not pixelation for those of you who think it looks very pixelated. Don't get me wrong. <clears throat> but um, as we're going to find out now I only realised it when I was doing I think it was um, I can't remember Sirius, one of the two and, and uh, I was finding the um, odd sort of geometric um Ceres, I think it was, uh, in in the in the image itself, and it reminded me of the Pluto one. So I came back and had a look. Okie doke, right. Um, I have told a few people about this because it's sort of um, blown me away. Now, if you're unfamiliar with this sort of stuff, there is a way to look at these uh, things. You have to give your eye, brain time to um, take in, get used to what, what it's looking at. Um, you know, it might be a case of leaving it, coming back to it, um, so on like that, you know. And what we've got to understand that the stuff we're looking at is it's unfamiliar. We're not used to looking at images, satellite images. Um, it, it's that simple, really. You just have to get used to this sort of stuff. So this is a new image. And as you can see, it's looking very different indeed. Um, so let's, uh, <clears throat> let's have a look. I'm going to zoom in to um it's not as still not very large at all the image i could make this a lot bigger um and this is the area we were concentrating on in the uh in the first video So these darker areas here, I haven't um, done any work on apart from darkening them. Um, and I was a little bit hasty with this image as well. Because um, I wasn't paying attention to uh, the contrast and the and I blacked out quite a lot of these areas too much, but it's still working, so I, I went for it. So, as you can see, I'm just going to go back here and get this into a, a similar, similar scale. So we can see all these little, uh, funny little squares and shapes and stuff. Um, so, oh, we don't want that one. That's some, I'm just going to explain with the, the scaling on this. So I'm going to be, I'll be zooming in, zooming out, um, having a look at a few places. So let's just uh, get in here. Now with the with the, a lot of these images, so when you, the closer in you get, the 
the less likely if you are new to this sort of thing you're going to be able to understand what you're looking at but this is why we zoom in and out um, this is one of the tools I use I'm not going to go into the, the um, how the tools work too much on this I've got a tutorial coming up regarding that um, so basically, I'm showing you the how I pull the the images out. Um, this is reasonably far into the um, revealing <coughs> revealing the stuff of sorts. So it's quite nice. You can see the depth. Um, of the the uh, structures. So, I mean, if you're new to this, this is basically what we're looking at. We're looking at um, uh, buildings of some description, um, machinery, complexes, whatever it is. But you've got to understand this, which which I'll show you in a minute. The vast scale of this stuff and it see this is a recurring thing loads of people talk about the actual scale of these um, uh, anomalies phenomenon I'm not calling it phenomenon anymore it's just too completely obvious So maybe your eyes are starting to attune to this. Now there's there's a there's an angle of view on this, and they normally the satellites normally I don't know what this was. This could have been taken from about 1,200 miles or any up to 50,000 miles away. I'm not entirely sure. Let's just have a quick look uh, from a distance of 50,000 miles. So serious uh, imaging equipment they use it's quite astounding so I just pull out a little bit so what you what you generally look for are things that connect you know odd shapes squares circles but this stuff is so um has a cube ge geometrical um design to it it's in, it's incredible I've, I've i haven't seen anything like this Only recently, obviously, from the from the stuff I was talking about, which reminded me of it. So in between the blurred areas, you can see the blurred areas. We all know what um, blurred looks like. Um, there are areas which are not quite so blurred. And these dark lines these uh, channels after I was looking at it I was thinking well, okay maybe they're completely fake um, or they are part of the um, what, would you, what would you call it the, the, the I don't know a bit lost with the words sometimes But a lot of this stuff, wherever we're looking, um, seem to have, uh, they, they are, it's infrastructure, it's, it's like, you know, how we would view um, satellite images of Earth with railroads, motorways, um, stuff like that. 
how things connect up. And I have started working back from this uh, chaos region into the mountainous region, which I'll, I'll show you towards the end. But we need to check this stuff out. Now, I was seriously gobsmacked. Probably, I, I, I don't know, 15, 20 hours I've probably spent on this. As you probably notice, I don't have much concept of uh, time uh, in, regards to, in regards to this. So I mean, you can work on these things at this level. But it's a little bit, um, if you want to pick out details, you need to get in close. And we will be doing that. Very blurred out here. It's had a fair bit of work done on it. So yeah, like um, I think I was saying uh, a minute ago, there's uh, there's an element of uh, angle from which the uh, satellites take the the images. So. Um, we can see it's not a bird's eye view there is an angle on it so you have to take that into account as well so we're going to be seeing the tops fronts um, and some side this is more top and uh, fronts of they're just thinking that this can't be this can't be. Uh, what am I looking at? And uh, the more you look at this stuff, the more you can um, see the um, the purposeful design layout of these. Um, structures and they are massive there's a few places where of um, they look very white just a little bit of overstepping with the, uh, the tool that I'm using at the moment and some of them I have tried to highlight a bit better so we can go and have a closer look at it This is where it does get confusing. Um, maybe you can see this on your phone okay. Um, but I do recommend uh, watching this uh, HD. And the biggest screen you can get your hands on really. So 
so you can uh, see the tops so this would be the top the sides in the shadow and then we step down again because we're looking on that angle the tops that's the top and then this is in shadow but if we have a look under here with the tool But it's, it's so difficult because that we don't have, I could just can't get the detail that we want out of this. And that's that's uh, pretty cool. I haven't quite decided what to um, uh, oh dear, excuse, sorry. Um, title to give this um, video, but I think I'll just throw it out there. To me, this is clear, clear proof. Well, all the videos are. But look at this. See, these are slightly to the side. Pretty good, there's quite a lot of definition in this. This is a thing at this sort of stage of um, uh, the work. It's like in art, it's like in um, sculpting. What do they say? You get 80% of the work done in 20% of the time and 20% of the work done in 80% of the time sort of thing. So you can imagine You spend weeks and weeks on this stuff. Sorry.
too much to take in. I don't know how many uh, moons, planets that I've, I've done so far, but um, and of course there are asteroids as well. But I know this type of sort of thing exists on every single one of them. Sorry about the jerkiness, um, I can't get around it with this program. <clears throat> but it's good training, as I've said before, you know, you, your eye has to be constantly keep readjusting, so it's good exercise. Okay. These are at different stages, a bit due to the lightness and uh, things like that. Um, this would be a blurred area. And also this. Some of it you get lost in, and then some of it just uh, screams at you. <clears throat> like this whole, this whole area here. Huge connecting pipes. Um, that's what it looks like. There's no, no... Uh, no denying it. What I was saying when I was working to the edges, and I've mentioned edges um, before as well. I haven't got an example here because I've done all the edges, but uh, There were areas of the uh, the more rocky area connecting to the the chaos area, the icy the icy plain. This is an icy plain we're looking at. Ooh. See, once you get used to looking at it from a certain distance, and when you get close in, it is confusing, but when you start working on it, and you start seeing minute details appearing, uh, it's, uh, it's quite, 
crazy. I don't really know how to describe it. Um, and you're constantly reminding yourself, you know, that, that this is where? This is Pluto. No, this this stuff is um, just fantasy, uh, but it's not. I mean, I can't. <sighs> Don't really know. It's craziness. Now we have to remember that this stuff is hidden in the images and people go, well, go. Why is it hidden? Well, I think we have to look at all this stuff. Um, the way I look at it is um, you have to disregard everything, everything you've read or seen or, well, not everything, obviously. Um, and basic, ju just basics. I mean, the, the basic thing here is I find an image from NASA, I download it, I do the, the preliminary work on it, which um, I've demonstrated and shown, you, you can see it in the uh, tutorials, and simply let the image give me what it's got to offer it and it's as simple as that I don't the, 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 there's no no CGI no, no the, none of that type of sort of thing this is this is it this is raw this is what the images are given me and it's as simple as that and if you don't believe it go and do it yourself the, this is what that channel is here to do and if you're having problems, just ask me. It's as simple as. Okay. So you can see here as well, I'll just do a quick. Quick, he says. I'm going quick. If you can hear a clicking in the background, that's my graphics pen. So every time you hear a click, that's me. It's coming off the pad and laying another um, another uh, ex ninety four percent exposure down on the image. So. The more I do it, look. You see? That's that's how it works. And it's up to me to um get it to a level where hopefully you can see it and understand. slowly it's it's the entire map I call them maps photos it's the whole thing again so if you want to relate that to the other the other videos if you're new to this uh, go for it and it will all it all makes sense. I'm not doing anything different. This is good though. This is this is a good uh, finding. This uh, has answered a lot of uh, a lot of questions uh, for me, uh, and showing you guys.
how to make this easier to do. Okay, right, we haven't even uh, seen half of this new stuff. So, let's go there. Oh yeah, Ron T, if you're watching, cheers for the uh, the mention on your your latest bid. You just about got it right. Let me know if the uh, the uh, the zoom is enough for you, especially if you're on the phone. I haven't, I haven't even looked on the phone yet. So homing in on this stuff. Remember the. Um, How shadows work. And just relate it to different areas. Okay, something I want to show you quickly. Um, we said that the image was 300 miles uh, wide. What's that? A lot of kilometers, don't know, 500 something. Um, so, what I did basically was um, down the center, these uh, guides. So, just ignore this one. So 300, 150, 75, so on and so forth, diddly -diddly down to this strip here. Um, and I think, I think I did a little bit more. It's not going to be totally accurate, but it gives us an idea. Um, and then you have to try and relate it to this. Now, if they're... Um, the scaling that they've um, given us is correct, then you see this structure here. Let's have a closer look. See what's in there. Sorry, I'm off, I'm off again. Okay, so this, from this point to this point, is about nine miles. Yeah. Can't get my head around that. Is that correct? Pluto is about um, 14 hundred miles I think that's the the diameter see when I see something I have to go and have a look
nine miles. You can see here, there's a, like a track line. I don't mean as in train track, but there's a, sort of runs through. There is not quite so clear. And that circular area is the top. And there's two blocks on top of it. This is the side. What's here? The way to look at it, you've got to remember the the uh, the, the angle you're viewing it. can get rid of uh, quite a lot of the, uh, the blurring look which I will be demonstrating when I uh, do the tutorial on how to use this tool but I thought 
thought I'd get as much as the image uh, done so you can at least get an idea of what's going on. I mean, and what is going on. It's just mind boggling. This can't be anything else apart from. I hate the, I hate the titles. These things intelligently built structures. You can see the you can see the layout. You can see the how it joins up together. It has design. It has purpose of some some description. I mean, do like people live in these little areas? Are they like giant um, like housing blocks? I don't know. It's the first time I've actually sort of sat down and properly just had a little gander at this. I've just been trying to get as much of it done as possible. You know, over the years, with interest in this sort of stuff, um, all the stuff you read and watch, and it's still, you don't, you still don't know for sure. You're always, what if, you know, it, is it real? Is it, I think I've, I've only really seen one other, two other, Two other channels, I think, that um, demonstrate um, the process of. But I don't think anyone is showing you how to do it, and this is it. So there's no argument for anyone who is watching this. I've said it before. Do it yourself. It's just mental. If I'm right, I mean, I mentioned a few, um, sort of the, or maybe, maybe not, um, about the actual, land coverage of these, these things in relation to the size of cities and stuff on, on earth and, uh, There's just no comparison. I 
lots to do in this area but you can see it slowly appearing some stuff I was quickly doing earlier Also, I've, I've talked about, you know, the familiarity of um, <clears throat> certain shapes or, or structures that we see. And I just saw one and I can't find it now. So, um, the, the things that we, they're like um, platforms with a tower or a spire or whatever it might be on top. Um, I just saw one and I've completely lost it. There's a small one in there. That's stuff you have to look out for as well. It's difficult, it's like a, you know, when I say that the image gets so busy. Everything's so sort of rammed together, it's difficult to uh, differentiate between one thing next to another thing. So remembering, nine miles. Nine miles? Really?
can see where this goes under this area here. Same here as well. From what we can work out anyway. Now where was I going to have a quick look at? See, when you're getting close, you know, it just, just doesn't look real. Like a piece of uh, textile patterns and stuff. Pixels just do not do this. Compression, artifacts, whatever, anomalies, or however you want to call it. They do not do this on this level. <clears throat> they do not create shadows, size, tops, bottoms um, on this level. <clears throat> Especially not the whole, the whole image. And I've said it before, you know, they say, well, maybe it's just, maybe it's just a, a bad image or maybe they're putting it in there for. Ugh. You know, one thing, it wouldn't be hidden. They wouldn't be obvious. Um, masking. It wouldn't be... Uh, so difficult to uh, pull out of the image and and why would it be there if it was that difficult to pull it out of the image what would be the purpose there's only a handful of people on this planet that are, that are, are crazy enough to well in the eyes of to uh, look into this stuff and and find it so there's no point, there's no point. There's only one, one, uh, uh, what do you call it, conclusion. Sorry about this. We'll get in touch with GIMP and see. There is a way I can do it, move around more smoothly, but because I like to show you work on, on the move, now let's see if I can get this right. Um, it means, here we go, switching tools constantly, and I can't always quite get this right, because I, I think I have to click it on the screen and then hold the space bar down, and then I can move around a bit more smoothly, but it is much nicer, isn't it? Let 
Yes. We did look at this area, but this does stand out to me. Okay, let's just get in a bit of an overview. So you can see what the 300 miles by 300 miles. Now, let's have a quick look at some of the other places which I'm working on. You can slowly see here. And if we have a quick look at this, this gives your, your eyes a break as well. So we can see <laughs> the IC chaos. chaos. This is the chaos -y area. So we've got crater and crater. Um, if we go back, that one's more or less vanished. So if you look closely enough, um, you can see those geometric shapes here. You see? So now that says to me, when before I just thought it was the low quality, you know, um, pixels, playing silly buggers um, I now know it's not just turn that up a bit Let's see So this stage is just a blast over. I'll show you a quick, um, I think now I'm going in a lot heavier with the, uh, the mid-tones. I'll quickly show you this, just to show you that Well, if you've seen the other videos, it, it, this is part of it. So getting it to a nice... Um, so it's almost like a richness coming through there. Okay, we'll do a quick... So uh, over here. You don't have to be very precise when you're doing this uh, sort of stage you're just trying to pop some of the um, the details so you can see what is lying underneath more random the better really so you can imagine if I was if I was using a pen just for the, the uh, people going, he's drawing. <clears throat> I'm not drawing. Um, are we are we're on a we're on a pen. That's this is the same size. Um, 
the that's what the pen does on the basically the same the same settings um, yeah you get you get you yeah I'll leave all this for um I'll do the uh tutorial on uh the tools um And I'll do it on a, a very, very dark image. And a very, very light image. And I'll probably be using um, Mars as well. Um, some high rise images because they're, they're amazing. I've got some quite incredible stuff i've been i've been looking through the the files and uh like, like i said in the last video i'd like to try and cover everywhere in our solar system first and then i'll start um obviously going back and i mean there's just hundreds and hundreds of images and they're all mind-boggling we just need the uh, to get the word out now. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about some moves to make, because uh, it's got to be the right, the right people. Who, who knows? Who knows? So you can see the the formations starting to form. here as well and when you're actually doing this stage again I mean if I went like that you think oh it's a bit weird. don't worry about it because you're gonna knock it back anyway knock it back meaning you're gonna burn darken it burn it and then apply this process again it's crazy. I mean, sometimes you you, you know you, you you're doing it five or six times. That's how difficult some of the images are to um, uh, retrieve the the information. So, sorry. Before I get totally carried away. Um, I hope the Pluto update was worth um, worth waiting for. Um, I, I I'm astounded by it. Um, I think I've been working on new video coming out, which is ooh, what is it? I think I think it's a Saturn moon and. Uh, gobsmacked by it that's all I can say um, so I hope you can see I hope this is uh, made some sense to you if this is the first video you've seen go and watch the others it makes a lot more sense um, I'm trying to keep the continuity flowing and keeping it as uh, simple as possible it can't get any simpler than this it's just something I uh, just spotted by and we was going down so I'll try and pull this out for you um,
I say it again, sorry to sorry to repeat, but uh, you know this is all in lieu of uh, hopefully the mass conscious awakening of uh, this realization, however you would like to however you'd like to uh, put it, but it's. Uh, This is what we're talking about. All back again. It's quite a nice. Like I say, you can go on and on and on with this stuff. Okay, if you want to see more of this, then uh, let me know. Uh, I might have a look at um, some other of these low quality images from Pluto and see if I can find any um, any that are similar. I'm sure we could. So uh, let me know. But like I say, I want to cover as many um bodies as uh, as possible because they're there um, I'd, and there's a load to go I'm desperate to show you some moon stuff as well um, It's just, I don't know. absolutely nuts well okay guys cheers for your time i hope this wasn't too long i have not been looking at my clock so it is what it is right i will see you very soon and and brilliant thanks for your time um hope you enjoyed it let me know what you think um and i'll see you very soon cheers